Hey guys, Colonel Dan here today. We are playing some more Clash Royale again. I have completed the final stage, and um, I was two losses and one more win until the legendary chest. The legendary chest that I could have gotten from one more win, but unfortunately, I lost that one game. The game was uh, against a Dark Prince, uh, three Musketeer, and Banda deck, which we actually really excelled. It had the pump in it, so it could uh, actually be quite quickly. It, it could uh, cycle quite quickly. And then um, the Musketeers, along with the Dark Prince, was very threatening. So yeah, you know, it was it was a good game. Uh, the entire thing was a it, it was a very nice challenge. You know, maybe because I got this far, but I really enjoyed it. And uh, I got all this. I got this prize. Look at this: four thousand six hundred gold and two hundred and ten cards. Let's open this chest up. So this was the um, eight wins, the eight win chest, nine skeleton barrels, giants. Okay, zappies. Mini Pekkas, two executioners, and what is the? No, oh, no, never mind. Actually, there's no, there's no legendary force because the card isn't showing up. 168 ice spirits. I barely even use those things. Okay, so uh, this is the Lunar New Year challenge. I guess you could enter uh, for free at the final stage again for 100 gems uh, if you really want to grind it out for, for the, um, for the legendary chest if you didn't get it yet. Um, but anyhow. We already know what is going on in Clash Royale. The new card is coming out, the Magic Archer. Apparently it's like a combination between um, the Archers and the Wizard. But I find it more, you know, I, I kind of compare it more towards a uh, towards a bowler because mainly because it can go through, uh, its projectiles can go through enemies and it can deal damage to enemies in a straight line, um, you know, going through them. The Magic Archer, not quite a wizard, not an, nor an archer. He shoots a magic arrow that passes through and damages all enemy in, all enemies in its path. It's not a trick; it's magic. So the level one Magic Archer, its stats are pretty good. I, I believe it can be fireballed down by um, by fireballs, and the poison can kill it as well. So the fireball and poison can kill it in one shot. I remember when they released the Electro Wizard. Um, the Electro Wizard was prone to the fireball, um, and the Magic Archer will as well. Although for the Electro Wizard they kind of buffed it, uh, so it would have like a sliver of health if it was fireballed. So this is going to definitely change up the game. Hopefully it won't be too overpowered or too weak, um, and hopefully we can uh, grab ourselves one of these and put it into a deck. Let's hop into a battle with here it is. The hold on, it was against it, w it was against a fellow a uh, fellow graveyarder here. This person used the graveyard along with the freeze. Graveyard freeze. That was the deck. That is a very interesting deck combination. Um, I definitely can't pronounce their name, but they have the graveyard, the freeze, the bowler, the ice golem. The ice golem, I guess, is just for some. Um, when you pair that up with the graveyard, that can be quite devastating if I can to react quickly enough. Just look at this initial push: the graveyard and the ice golem. Uh, my archers unfortunately lock on to the ice golem, and that well time freeze that took out, or that didn't take out, but that froze everything around it, and it did get a decent amount of damage on my tower. He drops that really uh, passive princess in the back. That princess is just doing work. It denies any shots from the Mega Minion, not even one. And of course it kills the archer. They're kind of just waiting, whoever's going to play the first thing. He's going to um, protect his princess with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Come on, one shot, and... And wow, my Mini P.E.K.K.A. actually survives that. Um, let's see, and my Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get taken out. But my baby dragon can get a few shots off onto this tower, so um, so far it's looking quite even. By the way, the final stage, or you know, the final nine games, um, before you win, they're called the final stage, and um, it's a ramp, it's a ramp up battle basically. So the first one minute has um, one times elixir, the second has double, and the third minute before overtime has triple elixir, which is very interesting. We're going in for a heavy push right now, and wow, okay. Okay, the, that mini P.E.K.K.A. had survived, it took out the bowler, now it just got a shot off onto the tower, and along with everything supporting behind the graveyard, um, the graveyard was dealing lots of damage as well, we easily took down that tower. Um, I'm going to drop a mini P.E.K.K.A. to take down that wizard, and a baby dragon to defend from that, um, to defend from the Skarmy. I had to zap because he used, he used the free spell. Um, we're kind of just defending for now, I don't know. He is getting very decent chip damage off onto my tower, and I doubt that I will be able to hold it for much longer with the, the princesses, the graveyard freezes, and um, you know all, all that good stuff. 
now we're kind of leaking the elixir. I'm going to drop my golem on the left side, the side that he's oppressing, to uh, to try to build up a push when I, you know, a counter push when I defend with my with my own troops. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I can't I can't save that tower. It's dead, but I still have the baby dragon that's doing work. I threw some archers in there. The mini pack is running down the lane. And here we go, we're trying to go out for another all out push, I dropped the Grey Bear in the back. The Grey Bear is kind of, it's 5 elixir, so it's a pretty bulky card, but it kind of seals the deal, if you will. And it can deal a lot of damage as well. Yeah, it can deal a lot of damage, especially in this, um, he uses a freeze, but, um, yeah, his fate is eminent, and he can't stop anything from the Ice Wizard, I don't have the Ice Wizard, from the Electric Wizard, the Archers, and uh, anything else. He froze, but everything that still had range could do lots of damage. And that just shows the power of a ramp combined with a ramp deck. The ramp, um, the ramp elixir, when you when you have so much elixir flowing very constantly, it's very important to make sure that all your cards, uh, you're always playing them so you never leak. Because like one second of leaking elixir could deny you like two or three elix, two or three elixir. Yeah, yeah, a lot. That's a lot of elixir. You can drop down a card. So um, it's all about uh, you know having good tempo as well. Um, and reading the board, you have to you have to know when you when you have to stop uh, when you have to stop you know putting down cards and kind of wait for a while, or when your opponent is weak, you know you throw everything at them. Well, this has been Colonel Dan, uh, the Lunar New Year week. I guess this is to celebrate Chinese New Year. Uh, Chinese New Year, uh, happy Chinese New Year to everyone who celebrates it. This has been Colonel Dan with some more Clash Royale. Eight wins on the Lunar New Year week challenge. The final stage, eight wins, one more win. And we would have gotten that legendary chest. But you know, it's not that bad after all. Because while I was playing the challenge, I opened up a crown chest. And I got another royal ghost. Now I have three. Um, you know, quite nice. I never even touched it yet. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been from Dan. Um, how far did you guys get? Uh, happy Chinese New Year, guys. Happy Chinese New Year's, guys. And I'll see you next video, guys. Goodbye.